Yo, yo, yeah, oh, yes, yes, it's time. How we're gonna make it a successful relationship? <sighs> mad. All right. <laughs> Don't get mad. Get smart. Listen, guys. Before you even stop, like, share. You know what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> Before I even start, <laughs> I gotta bring you in. <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> it's tasty. It's the best a man can get. And it also makes for the best relationships. And sure, I need you to sponsor me. Why great? How to make a successful relationship. Like guys, I mean I've only got nine points here. But I want you to understand a successful relationship doesn't necessarily mean that you guys don't argue. It doesn't mean that you guys don't fight. It doesn't mean that you don't get things wrong. It doesn't mean that there's times where you just want to go to a separate bed. It doesn't mean there's times where you don't talk. It doesn't mean that. Successful relationship means that through thick and thin, we still ride it out. Successful relationship means that we last it to the end. Successful relationship means that, listen, we are still in love. Some shape or form, we're still making it through. You understand? So successful relationship is important because... In order to have a stable family and to create a generation of stable people, a successful relationship is needed. Now, I'm going to give you an example. David, because of his inadequacies, inadequacies with his father, instead of, because of the, the, the pain that he felt from his father as well, and the, and, and the fact that he had a lack of relationship with his father, look at his generations. Solomon became a womanizer. But then look at the rest of the gentlemen, look at his children that he had immediately, Amnon and, and Absalom and the rest of them, Tamar. And listen, it was all a madness. It was all a mess because he himself hadn't had the father figure. So when it came to parenting, he went on it. But when it came to war, my man knew levels, fam. He grew up in the fields, rude boy. I need you to understand that you are not alone in this relationship. No relationship is going to stand, I said this last time, if the empire is not united. Okay, the Bible says where two or three are even gathered. Even God understands teamwork. Teamwork is needed. Listen, sometimes the kids are trying. Listen to me tell you about kids. They're very smart. Okay, kids will tell you about life. <laughs> listen, you as parents never be divided. Let me tell you something to women and to men. Men never undermine your woman when she's disciplining the child. Women never undermine your father when the father's trying to discipline the child. You may not agree, but never undermine them from the kids. The moment you show division, the kid will pick it up and 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 will work against you. Why do you think that we always have? Why do you think that a lot of people go? I go to my mom because of this because I know my dad will say no, because they know that you're not unified. But if you go to your mom and you know your mom is going to say, go to your dad, go and ask your dad, go and ask your mom, go and ask your mom. Unification. That unification lets you know that you are united as a team. That when you do things, you do it together. Plus. When two people are doing things together, energy is less consumed. If you think you're in this relationship by yourself, you are going to tire yourself out. So I want you to understand this. Raising kids is not a mother issue. It's a mother-father issue. You have to understand that. Having a home, building a home, is not a mother issue. It's a mother-father issue. Bringing money into the house isn't a father issue. It's a mother-father issue. Do you get it? It is a we. Now, how we do it may be different, but it's still a we issue. So if the moment you start to think like it's an I issue, you are going to lose it. It's a we issue. And the fact is, when I know that I can I can lean upon you and you can lean upon me, in Wing Chun, the person uses the um, the enemy's um, energy against him. What I, what I understood for that is that as an individual, I must use your energy, you must use my energy, and we must lean upon another. Do you get it? What you can do, I can't do. What I can't do, what I, what I can do, you may not be able to do. We must lean upon each other. Two must become one. Okay. Number two point: doing something new. Now I'm culpable of this. I will say this. Sometimes I like to be stuck in my non-change atmosphere. I don't want to come out of my non-change atmosphere. I like my routine. I want to stay in my routine. But the truth of the matter is, water that does not move is dead. So when the water is moving fast, okay, you see fishes, you see bears, you see kingfishers, you see salmon in there, whatever you see in there, you get me? You see bear things flowing in there. Why? Because the water is moving. There's life in movement. To stand still or to stand in the same place is death. One has to grow. The, one of the objective or one of the um, things that you know that something is alive is that it moves. If you don't move, you're dead.
Do you get it? So the relationship can't stay in the same place. It must grow. It must move. Water that stays stagnant stinks. Your relationship will stink if you stay still. So do something different. Come out your comfort zone. I hate that coming out comfort zone. My missus always tell me, come out your comfort zone. Come out your comfort zone. But it's true. Come out your comfort zone. Number three. Hmm, it's a big issue. Talk about money. Listen, a lot of relationships break because they don't talk about money. You need to talk about money. It's a big issue. How we're gonna use it, how we're gonna get it, and what we're, and, and then and then um, where do these funds go? How can we access the funds? Is it a joint account? Is it a single account? What do we use the money for? Etc. Can we buy the kids clothes? This, that, this, that. We need to talk about money because it's a big issue and people break up because of it. You know what I mean? I'm a person that likes budgets. So if you don't like a budget, I'm a little bit pissed off. You need to have a budget because I don't want to hear nothing about lend me this, lend me that. I don't like it. Do you get it? So for me personally, I know that I like to have budgets. So I talk about it. Have a budget. My missus will tell you. I will say, have a budget. Work with that budget. So that down the line, you're not going to be out of pocket. But that's my way of dealing with finances. But I talk to her about it. If I don't talk to her about it, I could get pissed off at her when she does certain things. When rather I can just talk to her about a certain situation, listen, this is money. And she may talk to me about certain situations, like, coach, you don't spend enough. You're tight with your money. But she said it, so now I can react to it. Do you get it? She said it, so now I can react to it. Understand levels. Cool. Number four. Understand. You must talk about sex. You have to. Christians, if you're not in a marriage, don't talk about it. It's not necessary. You can talk about it when you're married. But for the rest of you who are married or who are not married and are not Christians, fine. You've got to talk about sex. You've got to talk about it. it. The sex may not be going so great. So talk about it. Because what you can do is say, listen, babe or hubby, this is what we'll, let's, let's, let's try something new. Let's, let's look at this. There's always karma sutra, I'm just being honest. Let's look at different positions that we can do. Let's try to spice it up. So you might want to do role play. I'm just being real. There is times where you have to talk about this issue. Do not let it become a sore sight and then you can never talk about it and it becomes a huge thing. The Bible says that Satan was in the garden as a serpent, but by revelation, he's a dragon. If you don't deal with issues at a root cause, they will become a tree and when they're a tree, they're already too big to be cut down. List what you don't know. What is it that you don't know about your partner? It's time to get to know what you don't know. Hmm. You see, you already know, it's comfortable to be in what you know about the person, but what don't you know? When you don't know, ask. Don't expect the person just to say it. Ask. Or, again, I'll give you a, 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 an example. You can even write down. You can even say, listen, babe or hubby. Listen, let's just write down what we don't know, uh, what, what we think the other person doesn't know about us. Or let's write something that we know the other person doesn't know. An exchange. And then we have a conversation about it. Because that leads into a conversation about what we don't know. Do you get it? What we don't know. Boom. And then it creates, again, it's like refreshing this relationship because everything's about movement. It's about fresh water. Water that stays fresh. You stay in the same place, you won't be fresh. Do you get it? Positive reinforcement is so important. Guys, some of you are just atrocious when it comes to positive reinforcement. You don't know how to support people. Just a nice word. Me, sometimes I'm capable of this. You know, I won't say anything, you know. But it's like, sometimes you have to say, listen, well done. Oh, I like what you did. I said it in the last week as well. I like what you did. Oh, like just saying, listen, um, you know, I, 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 think that's, I think that's okay. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, I think that will work. Positive reinforcement is important. Like, and, and backing up with action is also important. Do you know what I mean? Um, I said it last time about the kids, like saying go well done to your kids. But what about your wife? What about your husband? You've got to be able to say to them, listen, I think what you're doing is great. That business that you're starting up, I'm, I'm with it. You know, I'm with it. And I want to help. You know what I'm saying? Getting involved in what they're doing at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Get involved with what they're doing at the moment. It's important. And seeing how you can support. Very important. Every situation that you take, every decision that you take, must be in consideration of the other person. So you need to get into the habit of discussing situations and, de and de decisions you're making with the other person. You are now two becoming one. You're not on your own. You're with the other person. So every decision you make you have to incorporate the other person. Once you start to do that, you realize it is a unit effort. Do you get it? It's a unit effort. My God. Surprise, surprise. Listen, sometimes, man them, especially. Your missus has come from a hard day's work, but you don't want to cook because you think it's a woman's job. You're mad. 
You're mad, you've lost a pot. Eight hours work, just like she, you did. And you wanted to also cook. I'm not saying that someone won't do it, some will. I'm just saying your woman might not. And if she doesn't, what is a nice surprise? You cook today. You pick up the kids today, maybe. You buy her favorite, uh, favorite um, food or whatever and bring it home, deliver it. You send flowers to her office. You do something out of the norm. You do something abnormal. Surprise, surprise. Submission is for everybody. I need you to understand that. I'm not submitting just because you're female. You're submitting because both of us are submitting. Love is about submission. So there's times where, there's times where, you know, I yield to what you say. Sometimes where I yield to what you, what you want us to do. There's sometimes where I, I want you to listen to what I've got to say and you yield to what I've got to say. But it's a working, it's a working project that at any time we can choose either one, we can choose to submit to each other or choose one person to lead or one person, another person to lead. It is a working project. And one understands that when you get that understanding, then your relationship can be prosperous and flow. So submission is important for both people. There are times where men, you need to shut up and let the woman lead. There's times where females, you need to keep quiet and just let a man do what he needs to do. You get it? So yeah, that's my nine tips for today. How to make a successful relationship is important. It's important. Guys, I fully appreciate you. Don't get mad, get smart and make your relationship successful. Share, like, subscribe. I appreciate you. Stay blessed.